And as the war drags on, a battle in America begins. Should the United States continue to send assistance? Here's Will Puckett. Video from Eastern Europe shows destruction left behind after what is now one year of war. It's still a tragic event. February 24th, 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine, kicking off a fight with a country the Western world has a vested interest in defending. It means whether or not they're going to be free. Uh, should Putin by some chance uh, win in, in Ukraine, then the next battle is Eastern Europe, most of which are NATO countries. Victor Ash is a former Knoxville mayor. He's also a former ambassador to Poland with a deep knowledge of what the security of Ukraine means to the United States. If anyone thinks this is all Putin has in mind, they need to only go back to Adolf Hitler and uh, taking the Sudetenland and the uh, part of Czech Republic before he invaded Poland and obviously commenced World War II. As the country has sent billions to help Ukraine defend itself, Americans here at home are raising questions of, is this our war? Something Ash believes it very much is. We must support Ukraine. Uh, the cost and the consequences of not supporting Ukraine are so uh, overwhelming and, and potentially devastating uh, that we'll wonder why, why we didn't. As the lives lost in a battle for freedom increase, Ash says this fight is far from over. I think it's going to last a while. I think we have to hunker down and realize uh, we, could be, we could be having the same conversation in 2024. But a cause for optimism as a proud country commits to defending its border. In Knoxville, Will Puckett, WVLT News. And Ash stresses that if Ukraine falls and a NATO country is attacked, then America has no other option but to join in the fight. <laughs>